All right, boys and girls, welcome back to the drive through. We're here in this very challenging nine five section. Okay, this is a really important section. And we're going to go through how to do numbers three through eight, um, talking about correlation coefficients. Okay, you want your correlation coefficient, if you want it to be a very accurate number, it needs to be closest to one or negative one. Okay. All right, so what's the difference between a positive and a negative? That is indicating where whether the slope of the points are increasing as we go to the right or decreasing as we go to the right, whether they have a positive or a negative correlation, okay? So the closer they are to one or negative one, the closer that the dots represent a linear pattern in this case, because it's a linear regression line. So it looks like our strongest two dots, would, our strongest two sets of dots would be that one and that one, okay? Well, six has a positive correlation and three has a negative correlation. So that must mean that um, six is B and three is C. So let's mark those down. Six is C, three is B. Now, Let's take another look at our numbers to see if we can match any of them. All right, now we've got a relatively high positive correlation in E, relatively high. And to me, that kind of looks like number seven. Seven looks like we're trending in a positive direction. The points aren't as close to the line as they are in C, but they do have a trend value, I think. So that makes seven, what did we say, E? Seven is E. Now, which one? This one looks like the next best set of data. Number four, I think. I would say that this data is indeed trending in the negative direction with a loose correlation coefficient, a weak correlation coefficient, but certainly one still, I guess. So I think this one would be D. So now I'm just left picking between A and F. And this could be difficult because neither one of them are very strong. F has a negative correlation. I, I'm going to go with, I think, as we go right here, this starts to trend downward slightly, where I think this one really doesn't have many trends. And with that in mind, I'm going to say that 8 has to go with F. And therefore, 5 must be A. Hope this helps. Boom!